one MEP voted against the Brexit trade deal because it does not fully recover Britain's sovereignty from the undemocratic European Union. Heinek Blasco, a former general in the Czech Army, said that the UK EU trade and cooperation agreement does not move Europe towards a continent of independent nations that can trade with each other. He was one of five MEPs to oppose the post Brexit future relationship in a vote to ratify the agreement. Speaking to Express, Mr. Blasco said he does not oppose the concept of Brexit but believes the terms Britain signed up to with Brussels do not create a continent of free trading states. He said, Firstly, let me say I do not consider Brexit a wrong step. The EU suffers from a great democratic deficit that cannot be removed and neither there is a will to remove it. This agreement does not move the UK and European states towards a continent of free and independent nations that can trade with each other in peace and without any barriers. The Czech MEP, a member of the Eurosceptic Freedom and Direct Democracy Party, said he would have endorsed a deal that makes Europe a genuine free trading bloc of countries. The current political settlement of Europe does not work, he said, centralization strengthens every month, more and more powers are taken from the states to the EU. I would support an agreement that would only grant free trade, academic and scientific cooperation, student and cultural exchanges, without any form of central governance. Quote dot, Mr. Blasco used his opposition to the Brexit trade pact to call for a new deal for Europe. He insisted it must be, without conditions, without obligations to pay into EU budgets, without harmful subsidies and state inference into people's lives. The former general added, Europe needs a real alternative to the current system. Almost four months after the historic Future Relationship Treaty was struck on Christmas Eve, MEPs backed down from their threat to veto the agreement and overwhelmingly supported it. Some 660 endorsed the tariff and quota free deal on goods, with just five voting against it. There were 32 abstentions.